And one thing that everybody on this, everybody, all the performers on this cruise have in common, you, you've had multiple hits, but every performer has had at, had at least one massive hit. For oh, people yeah. like you, when you're young and you're in your teens, what's it like to get that huge break? Um, to get a, to get a hit record? Yeah. Oh my God! I mean, it's amazing. That's what everybody who sets, you know, everybody who makes a record's dream is to, you know, make it a hit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's very difficult to get to that point, but. Uh, if you do achieve it, uh, it will be basic, basically like Ice Ice Baby, the Ninja Rap, Play That Funky Music. These are anthems. They're not just hit songs. They're songs that reach a level of impact that basically you'll remember it forever. So it's, it becomes a household name. It becomes something that you can remember, like instead of going through your photo album, you remember when the song comes on, like if Ice Ice Baby comes on, you remember who you were dating in high school, you remember where you were at, what kind of car you were driving, what kind of silly clothes you were wearing, maybe you had a fanny pack or some Z Cavricci pants or, you know, a starter jacket or something silly, but uh, that's, that's how photographic memory comes back to you through music. And one of the greatest thing about the 90s is, is it's the last of the great decades meaning that pop culture was at its highest level. Uh, pop culture is through music and fashion, what kind of clothes we were wearing. And if you look at 2000 to 2017, already almost 20 years have passed, 2018 now, um, and really nothing pop culture wise defines it. What it is is that defines that entire generation is in 2004, the iPhone came out, computers came out. So. They're a great thing having smartphones and computers, but they've really overpowered pop culture. Mm -hmm. So you go 100 years back in time and you look at 2000 to 2018 and you're really not going to have anything to define it. Fashion wise, you can't remember what they were wearing because everybody's wearing their 90s gear. If you go through the mall today, you see high tops. We used to wear high tops. That's from the 90s. You see neon colors. You go through Hot Topic. You go through all your stores in the mall and you see everything 90s. People are even wearing fanny packs again. So I mean, it's uh, it's kind of it's not that it's gone full circle. It's that uh, they call this the lost generation because of the power of computers coming in and smartphones. That's what defines this generation, which is strange. So people want to relive the '90s because it was it was all about the music. People got out of the house; they weren't stuck on computers, you know, uh, you know, sitting at home. Um, we we get trouble. We get in trouble for not coming home on time. Remember? Yeah. yeah. So I it was still do. really it defines the whole you know '90s. This whole cruise, and I think people just felt like it was such a great time and a great era that you know they want to go back and relive it. So that's exactly what we do. We boarded the ship, and I told everybody officially we're all teenagers on this ship. I don't care how old you are. <laughs>